When I come out of 1520 and I'm walking down the street, I feel like a ghost, you know, because what I see is I'm the only person that's seeing all of this. And it's, it's, it's just so surreal. When people started b-boying in the streets and doing the graffiti and doing the DJ and the MC, it made you feel good about yourself. It, it, it kind of took you away from your everyday problems. It was a, a, a way to release yourself. Once I reach the park, I can, I can close my eyes and, and, and hear the music and, and hear the people and hear the b-boys breaking and, and hear the screeching of sneakers against the um, linoleum and hear the echo from the microphone. One, 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 two, 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 you know? And that's hip hop. I think hip hop is more like an art form than a culture. I think it's more art form because the you know, graffiti artists, they display in their art. The, the, the b-boys, they display in their art. The DJs, they display in their art. The MCs, they display in their art. Before you dive head first into this hip hop art form, make sure you do a little bit of history. Learn about Africa Bambada, Grandmaster Flag. You know, learn about, you know, Zulu Nation and, and, and all of the people that put the blood, sweat and tears into this art form, you know, the early days, you know, and, and once you do your history and learn about all these people, you will be better at your craft. And remember, hip hop is about peace, love, unity, and having fun. I am Theodore Livingston, AKA Grand Wizard Theodore, and I come from hip hop.